swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow's so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The last topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is an interesting one. Jojo Diaz admits to sending nude pics to minors. But the way this came about was interesting because I'm just on Twitter. For starters, I don't really know much about social media. I'm not really on social media like that. Um, I go on occasionally when there's a fight or whatever. I look at people's, uh, some of my friends' tweets that pop up. I respond whenever I'm on there, whenever I can. And this came up. So this guy, Ray Jackson, tweets a lot about boxing. So he shows up on my feed. And Jojo Diaz actually tweeted some to him. He said, shut the F up. He said, and keep looking away like your profile pic. You ain't a fighter and never will be. Your opinion don't matter. Peace. And so that's what he said to him. And so then <laughs> my man Ray Jackson responded with the hammer. He said, you're right. I'm not a fighter, but at least I don't send my eggplant to multiple minor females. You a sick MF a dog and everyone who liked his posts. So that's what he said. He even posted uh some of the paperwork oh it's not appearing on here but oh, here we go he even posted some of the paperwork on there but for those of you who think he was just mouthing off and uh just saying something that is actually true and here's the ESPN article uh right here let's take a look as you can see this was written uh, April 12, 2022, it says pro boxer Joseph Diaz accused of attempted coercion uh, enti enticement of minor in lawsuit. An unidentified plaintiff has filed a lawsuit against professional boxer Joseph Jojo Diaz, accusing the former IBF super featherweight champion of attempting to coerce a minor to engage in sexual activity. The lawsuit, which was filed by Jane Doe in the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California, alleges that Diaz 29 shared sexually graphic material with the plaintiff via the social media app Snapchat in September 2020. The plaintiff states she was 17 at the time. According to the lawsuit, the plaintiff submitted a police report on the alleged incident one year later in September 2021. No criminal charges resulted from the investigation. The lawsuit also states Diaz formally dated the plaintiff's older sister and that his father told the plaintiff's family Diaz sent the photo mistakenly after a night of drinking. The lawsuit states the plaintiff has suffered emotional distress and discomfort as a result of the alleged actions and is seeking liquidated damages in the amount of $150,000. All right, so here's a quote. These frivolous accusations on behalf of an anonymous source have been brought by the attorney for Joseph Diaz, former manager, Rafael Heredia, who Mr. Diaz is suing in federal court for stealing his money and violating his trust. Diaz, Diaz's attorney, uh, James... Greeley of VGC LLP told ESPN, Mr. Heredia and his counsel appeared to be making a desperate attempt to gain leverage in that lawsuit by fabricating claims by Jane Doe as a part of an ongoing effort to defame Mr. Diaz and derail his career. They will be made to answer for their actions. It should go, it shouldn't, it should go without saying that. Mr. Diaz uh, staunchly denies these allegations. Diaz parted ways with his longtime promoter, Rafael Heredia, last year following an arbitration hearing before the California State Athletic Commission. This information was brought to me. 
I initially advised the young lady to bring this matter to law enforcement for resolution. Attorney Eric Montalvalo of the federal practice group told ESPN. Unfortunately, even though Diaz admitted that it was his photo and sent from his phone, law enforcement decided not to further investigate, even though they were made aware of additional victims. So I'm going to read that again. Unfortunately, even though Diaz admitted that it was his photo and sent from his phone, law enforcement decided not to further investigate, even though they were made aware of additional victims. The family came back to me despondent saying that this person needs to be held accountable because of what he's doing to young women. I investigated the case. I confirmed that on two occasions that Diaz confirmed the photo was his. There's no dispute that it's Mr. Diaz in the photo and was sent to the individual in question. This is not made up. She's an actual victim. Law enforcement is aware of who this is. As a former prosecutor and victim advocate, she asked for help, and I'm giving her the help that she requested. It has nothing to do with other lawsuits. A since-deleted tweet from Diaz verified Twitter account stated, oh, they desperate for money. So Diaz, uh, 32-2-1-15 knockouts, was born in South El Monte, California. He is expected to return to the ring this summer. Although he does not have an official fight lined up, he most recently challenged Devin Haney for the WBC lightweight title in December and lost via unanimous decision. Prior to that, he was scheduled to face Ryan Garcia in November, but Garcia withdrew with a hand injury. And so this is a report that says Mike Carpenter contributed to the report. So this started with Jojo Diaz going at the guy on Twitter who's a, who's a, you know, active on boxing Twitter, Ray Jackson. Ray Jackson coming back at him saying, at least I don't show my eggplant to minor kids. And I was like, let me look this up to see if this is real. It turns out that it's real and that they actually have on two occasions Jojo Diaz admitting that it was his stuff that was sent to these minor girls one age 17 turn over to you conspiracy g what's your reaction to it the twitter exchange and the actual allegations and things with jojo diaz man just this is uh this is just gross man i'm gonna be honest so it's like i never really understand dudes that just be sending a you know like, <laughs> on social media anyways that's kind of crazy it's like especially if you're a celebrity or even like somebody that's somewhat even like semi-famous, you know, they could use that against you later on, you know? So it's like, why would he do that? Now, I know one of them was like, he was drunk and it was his girlfriend's little sister. That's wild, bro. That's just, to me, it's like so careless. So, and I was like willing to, to be like, all right, maybe he's telling the truth. But then when it was talking about like the other woman and every oh excuse me other girl, you know, then it's like, bro, this happened more than once, you know. So it just makes you wonder, like, yeah, this is a pattern, man. So he's like a he got a sick mind, but it's just crazy. So like, I'm still curious, like, so how come the police hasn't um, you know, like like went after him and, and made him like a at least a, a registered sex offender is it like one of those like states where 17 is considered an adult oh that's a good question to be honest with you based on uh, the information in that article i really i really don't know all i know is they said they chose not to go forward with any charges so um uh, it's sent through social media by the way so it's sent through snapchat so they're saying that he was drunk, I guess, like eliminating the tent because you're talking about like intent crimes. And so I guess they're saying like he was drunk. So he didn't know uh, that he was sending the picture. Um, and you got to look at what's reasonable. Some people have nude pics of themselves in, in their phone and could accidentally send it. And then you have another person sending it. So I don't know how much evidence they had. I mean, he admitted that it was his body. But then again, you got to prove that he was the one who sent it. It gets... Uh, you know, 
all types of stuff. So I, I honestly don't know what they what evidence they have, but I'm still shocked that they didn't do much of anything. Yeah, but I'll say this though. The, um I hope I don't get in trouble by saying this, but shorty that's that was suing for a hundred whatever thousand. Man, that's a money grab, bro. Like, there's no way you receive a, a, a eggplant pick and you're like, oh my god, I can't function. I need I need a hundred some thousand just just to survive out here in these streets now. Like, oh come on, stop it. And you know, like you probably receive like a few other eggplant pics in your in your Instagram uh you know um messages and whatever. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Her DMs are probably loaded with with young boys acting a fool. So he's just probably the oldest one that that hit her up, you know. But yeah, it, it's just, um I don't know what to say about this guy, man. Like Joe Joe Joe, I don't I don't know, man. This is kind of weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like if if they're saying these are minors and the police know that he's been doing some foul stuff with minors. Why aren't they doing something? And if the, if the answer is like they're not doing it for some other reasons, I think they should make those other reasons public so people are aware, you know? Because again, we're talking about people's children here. And that's crazy. All right, TBE. Man, listen. <laughs> JoJo, you're a weirdo for this. I don't don't know the the facts, the legal system. You're failing these minors who have been traumatized. I'm gonna tell you now, as a minor, when I was we heard about blue as waffle. A minor. <laughs> when I heard about blue waffle and I want to go look it up on Google, it traumatized me. So you never know. These what talking about what is blue waffle? I have no idea. Don't look it up. <laughs> now nah, I'm all set. I don't know if it's if it's still this is like 10, 15 years ago, but they said. It was like, oh, go look at Blue Waffle when you see it. Something crazy. Look <laughs> it up. That's how I protect. Uh, I also want to promote. Please Blue use contraceptives Waffle. when you, you you're in the act. But please use contraceptives when you're in the act, bro. He shouldn't be in those acts with my. No, own. no, no. I'm saying I'm pr- for for Blue Waffle, not JoJo. For Blue for for our viewers. Oh, at least make that clear. Blue Waffle. Stay away from the Blue Waffle. But listen, Jojo, you're a widow. You're sick. I, I'm not. I don't. I def, you got. You got. You. It came. It's you. It went to some these young girls, and there's no way. Multiple on multiple occasions, and nothing's been done. Something has to be done. Jojo, log off, and you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house, and if you got a glass jar, watch your mouth. That's it. That's it. Who I ain't got more to say. Huh? That's fifty. Who did he accuse? No, he threw. He came at. He, he came, came at, at uh, the dude Ray Jackson. Yeah, Ray Jackson. Oh, oh yeah, no, you're right. and Ray Jackson came back with the. So watch your mouth. I just want to say, if you go and you look up Blue Waffle, the boxing bros are not responsible for what you may see, and we are not encouraging you to look that up at all. But if you do. That's on That's you. That's on you. <laughs> Don't bring it to us because I have oh, no stop. idea what the hell this man is talking about. And I don't even want to know. All right. So for me, here's the thing. Like, social media is a crazy place. Um, and like I said, social media can end your life faster than, than gun violence. Like, for real. Because social media, what you post, some some people are there quick. They're on it, especially the more famous you are. And, like, you start saying certain things, doing certain things, people are, are, are ready. They're ready to just screenshot. Down. Yeah. And, and give it to, you know, your bosses or give it to, if GMC. you're an athlete, give it to your sponsors, give it to whomever writes your check so that they can ruin your life. You know, um, a guy like Jojo Diaz, the problem with him is, right, you'll say to someone like Ray Jackson, like, you've never been in a ring and you'll never be a fighter. He doesn't have to be a fighter to love boxing. 
What percentage of the people who love boxing have actually been fighters? If you would take someone's money who's not a fighter, then you can't use that against them. Like, he's a regular on boxing Twitter. He pays, he watches all the fights. He's a boxing supporter. That's the way it is. Who do you think pays your salary? The people who pay your salary can talk about your performance. If I pay for a fight and I see a fighter not give good effort, I can at least, if I buy a steak at a at a, at a restaurant, I get to go on Yelp and, 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 and review that steak, right? You watch the boxing bros when y'all hate? I don't say nothing because I'd be like, yo, if you watch the video, cool. I only get mad at the people who didn't watch the whole video and then say some crap. And I'm like, if you would have watched the whole video, you would have known that this was bull. Exactly. If you didn't watch the whole video, so don't comment unless you did your due diligence. But if you want, if you do all that, and then you want to comment something negative, you earn the right to. You spent you spent time out of your life. You can't get back watching the boxing bros. So darn it, you 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 earn the right to leave a comment, right? I will watch a fight, and I see a fighter not give effort or well, I get to comment on that. Like even we talking about. Plant Benavidez, for example. I joke around. I talk trash about Benavidez. That's just for this fight. I got a lot of respect for Benavidez. I want everyone to watch their fight. I want that fight to be successful. I'm a, I'm a tune in. I'm paying. It's not like I'm just on here randomly talking trash or whatever. If Benavidez wins, I'm going to come here and show him, show him respect. That's just the way it is. But if Benavidez want to tweet at me some crap, now I get to go back at him. <laughs> We're gonna leak his movie. He playing with Ben Benavides play with us. We're gonna leak your movie. <laughs> oh, son. This mm -mm. I don't what movie is what movie you that? Talking cocaine bear. Cocaine bear. Oh, That's what right. I, was oh, right. I thought you were talking about that. Yeah, oh my god. Anyways, the point is, right? Um to some extent, when you're when the public pays for your events, pays for your fights, they have the right to say something. So the way he came at Ray Jackson to me is 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 no, I don't like it when it's oh you're not a fighter so you know I'm not a singer I'm not a this I'm not a that but if I go to the concert you're gonna take the money right so I mean when all said and done like to me that's lame now get into the actions with these young women we were just talking about this like when we were growing up there were dudes who used to prey on young women. Like predators out there who really know like the mind isn't fully developed yet and that they're gauged for what's a good guy and what's this and not. And he has the status of being a boxer with, with the one girl who's his girlfriend's little sister. But what I would say is it could be somewhat traumatizing when some guy who, you know, has been coming around your family, everything and. He's you seen him with your sister, and next thing you know, he's sending you a picture of the eggplant. A hundred and fifty thousand worth. I don't know, but that could it could well, I got a question. Sorry to cut you off. How do you justify the amount in court? Damages are typically based on like a lot of things, like um for like say adults like us, say like you lost you wages, um medical like things like that so um there, there are a lot of ways where they factor in but like in. like i'm assuming a 17 year old if anything if she has a job it's like a part-time job she probably still in school well that's what i said like for us but for her someone who's 17 you're talking yeah. about sexual harassment of that order they they typically place these numbers out and you would have to look at like cases because as, as attorneys the first thing you do is you go to case law right so you're like all right what cases are similar? How how did people rule? What was the amount? So typically damages are, are 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 based on like prior cases. So someone reviewed it and saw like a case. Now that case could have had a lot of different things, right? Like it could have been it was exposed in person, right? But this was exposed via Snapchat. But they're gonna make the argument, there's no difference, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? So oh, how they came up with that number, I don't necessarily know. But I know how attorneys come up with numbers. They take like they factor in like 
you say she did have a job and she missed like a week and then she missed like school. And then, you know, there was this issue and stress and she had to go see a doctor and then there's that doctor's bill. And then there's, you know what I mean? You like run it up. Like if you were in a car accident, you run, you run, the, you run the bill up past a certain point and then they can keep going, trying to get more money. So um, the way they factor in, in that number, I don't, I don't necessarily know, but I'm assuming case law and old cases. Gotcha. They were like, "Oh, this is one hundred and fifty thousand worth of damage when you when you put the eight plan out." But you touched on something, G. Forget this, all men out there. I know you see, like, there. I don't know this to be true now, but when I was in middle school, I was told there were two professions where women made more money than men: modeling and Prostitution? Sex industry, yeah. <laughs> Sex industry. That's a fact. So I was that's what I was told as a kid. There's two professions where women make more money than men. And it's modeling the sex industry. That's because people pay to look at women. People don't pay to look at men, bruh. So take that in for a second. Nobody wants to see. I'm gonna make a best of joke about that, and I was like, "Nah, that's probably." <laughs> <laughs> uh, nobody man, wants to see your eggplant. <laughs> nobody wants to see your eggplant. Like when if a if a if a woman like I look at us right now, we've been doing this show for like three years. We come in here, we give content, we really we really do what we do. And I know a girl who just started a YouTube channel. And she dressed scantily clad. And she's already catching us on the following tip. That's how you do it. Because you know that's all they got to do. Again, remember, since I was a kid, I was told there's two professions where women make more money than men. Modeling and the sex industry. Right? And when you look at Instagram, take a look at Instagram. Take a look at any girl who dresses and shows off a little more than an imagination can, you know, supplement for and look at her followers. Look at how many of them men and look at how many she follows back. That's when I started realizing the hustle, because like when I first got on, I'm thinking like, oh, cool. Like, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, wow, wow. Y'all make these women famous. So Drake can get them. The more y'all follow the women, the more Drake notice them. The more Chris Brown and all, the more they notice them. They don't follow y'all at all. Y'all make them able, when I say y'all, I mean all you men who follow these women who don't follow you back. If you stop following women who don't follow you back, for starters, you wouldn't have, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be following that many people but you would change the game. So the point I'm making is I don't know the rules for women and maybe he thought for men, it don't work that way, bro. There's a select few. Women have to connect with you. They have to like identify with you. So when it comes to the eggplant pick, the rule is don't send it unless she requested it. And even then, you still shouldn't send it. Because it can make or break the night for you. <laughs> okay? Because if you don't meet the requirement to ride that ride, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't meet the requirement to ride that ride, she may just stop texting you like the whole time. So it's best... To keep that to the vest, right? And, and reveal it when, when it needs to be revealed. But trust me, dog, women ain't paying to see men naked. Oh, they'll pay a thousand to take a picture with Chris Brown. They'll they'll pay, you know, they'll do all that stuff. That's Chris Brown. They got a connection to him. They listen to his songs. They feel connected to him. You know, they, all that stuff. But they're not paying to see no average man half naked or even naked. They don't care about that stuff. What is the number one thing you see women doing when it comes to 
eggplant picks. Complaining about them. Why oh, they men keep sending me the eggplant picks? Blah, blah. You ain't never heard a man saying, why she keep sending me these butt shots? Right. You ain't never heard that one time, right? Women get together and clown men who send the D picks. That's a fact, yo. You know I'm saying? Listen to me. If you men, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. If you value yourself, don't run around sending D picks. Okay? That's that's rule number one. Rule number two, if you value yourself, is you know, you don't want to run around following a bunch of women who don't follow you back. That's that's next level, though. That's some different. I ain't telling you what to do because I understand. I understand what's out there. I understand that there's some there's some there's some pages, some some Twitter uh, profiles that are just basically a porn site for, for, for uh, you know, for the person. And I hey, listen, I get it. Guys, y'all going to follow y'all going to follow. But I'm telling you, the more you follow them, the more famous you make them. They don't follow you. Yo, you sort of, pissing that off, man. You I'm share saying, your I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't name a single person. All secrets, man. That's a <laughs> watch your mouth, G. Watch your mouth. I'm telling you, let let one of those girls wake up and notice that fifteen thousand followers unfollowed her. Because if every follower on the Bachi Bros just went up, she lose her mind. She'll probably just start it. She'll be like, I gotta show more. I gotta show more. If she got OnlyFans, she'll be like, OnlyFans for free uh, this week. Like I'm telling you, bro. The more, like, if you stop giving all the attention for free and just stop, it would change the game. The game is forever changed because, like, you dudes are simp's now. But anyways, yeah, dig uh, this out, man. You know? Yeah, I. I mean, I mean, you're only a simp if you do what I just described. Otherwise, you know. But anyways. Back to the point. If you're a professional athlete of all things, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea for any man to do it. But if you're a professional athlete, you did you think Snapchat's really disappear? You, he's I can send it to him on Snapchat because uh, it's gonna disappear. Crazy, Bruh, Cut the cap. So anyway, I'm gonna close by saying this: JoJo Diaz. Probably isn't the only man to send his eggplant to women. I don't know if he knew that they were minors at the time, although he it, one of them's his girlfriend's little sister. So, but that doesn't mean that he knew the age. But I know there's enough to suggest he's sending his eggplant out. And this is the universal message to all men: don't do it. Bar. That's it. All right. So thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. Remember, you can listen to our podcast on all streaming services. That's G. It's G23. We'll find out. We'll find out next Sunday if it's really G23. But for right now, it is G23. And that's Ned the TBE. I'm Caden. Trill Dollar Bill is not with us. We're hoping he could come back um, next week so we could talk about the big fight. We are the boxing bros. Jeez.